Hey YouTube, welcome back to Part-Time Fab. So today we've got another unboxing and maybe assembly. Not sure if I'm gonna put them in the same video, but um, you know, where's the tool? Well, I'm sitting on it. It's so heavy, I couldn't pick it up and put it on the table. So this is the clutch 14 inch floor mount drill press. Now, this, this sucker is, it should be a massive drill press for, for what I need. It is a 110 unit with a full horsepower motor. Um, got to Harbor Freight and actually went to get a different one, one that was uh, around 300 bucks. Uh, I think it was 289 on sale. Uh, looked at that one, looked at this one, decided to go with the bigger one. So this one was $399, but on the website it was $349. So they gave it to me for the, uh, the cheaper price. So uh, that was cool. So uh, you've seen that, uh, that old drill press that I have. Uh, it needs to be retired. And I'm actually going to... Uh, it, it still kind of works. It would work real good for woodworking. And that sort of thing so I think I'm going to give it to a friend who uh, who does some woodworking and that that would be a real good unit for him but um, we cut a lot of metal here so we need something with a little bit more strength behind it so I am going to begin the unboxing here and um, let's see what's in this box because it's heavy Really nice looking. Good sturdy base. Looks like a cast. That's kind of what you expect from these cheaper units. If this was a thousand dollar drill press, that would probably be solid steel. And there's the mount for that. Pretty decent looking unit. Cast again. There's the chuck and a chuck key right there in the bag. Comes with a light. Looks like an LED type. There's the handles where you pull down. Three of those. This is the handle that goes on the back that you adjust the uh, uh, the, the drilling surface, whatever that's called. And there's the foot. Not too light, not too heavy. Still cast. There's a part of the base. Mm. There's the pole. Not real heavy. Not real light. This I might need help getting out. I've not, not, uh, okay. I might be able to handle this thing by myself. All right. Does have pulleys. Look like uh, half inch belts. These should be a lot better than what I'm used to. This unit um, goes down to 280 RPMs, as it says right there, and goes all the way up to, uh, oh, it's 340 on 60 hertz, 280 on 50 hertz, and on 60 hertz it goes all the way up to 2860, and on 50 hertz, 2380. There we go. So that unit doesn't look too bad. Single phase, one horsepower. Should be a dandy. All right, now that I've worn myself out, we're gonna cut this one short. 
I'll uh, I'll put all this together in another video. We'll we'll do a, an assembly of it, and then uh, after I use it a little bit, do a review. So, if something like that interests you, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss that video. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.